guys, how are you? So today I am talking about something that I love very, very much and that is movies. More specifically, movies that you can watch at a hen party because it's become quite a common thing now. Even if you're going away for a hen party, it's nice to have a chill night in the mix because we can't all just keep going all the time. So having a movie night just thrown in there for everyone to chill out, slap on a face mask, get their feet up and have a wee glass of bubbles is the ideal thing to do. And the good thing is there are plenty of movies out there that are wedding themed, hen party themed and just generally great girls night movies that you can throw in there to keep everything nice and I'm trying to think of the word. Thematic, I guess, just so it all fits in nicely. It's like a wee puzzle. Loads of hand movements and now we're gonna get started with a list because I don't know what all this is. The first film I wanna mention is Bridesmaids, one of those wedding themed films that will no doubt go down in history. Not really for its premise or storyline, but more for its blatant take on comedy and its relatability factor. I don't know about you, but I have definitely been here before. Help me, I'm poor. Also as a bonus, this movie has a light-hearted and optimistic soundtrack that will have you all singing and dancing along, which is just fantastic. Movie number two is Maid of Honor. Now this movie actually covers a subject that was pretty much unheard of for a long, long time, and that is the idea of a male maid of honor. It's the classic tale of boy likes girl, boy doesn't tell girl, girl finds other boy, and now boy has to win girl back. <laughs> But does he? Well, you're gonna have to watch to find out and you're just gonna also have to look at Patrick Dempsey's face the whole way through. <gasps> what a shame. Not. <laughs> My next movie I wanna mention is Bride Wars. You and your besties can cozy up and watch these two besties both get engaged, become each other's maid of honor. It's so lovely. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Although this movie can be a little bit over the top, sometimes there are moments of humor that are just Fantastic. The chemistry between the two leads is fantastic. They are very believable and it will have you hee-hawing and laughing, I have no doubt. What's the next movie? Okay, this one is one of my favourites. Father of the Bride, an absolute classic in wedding film history. Father of the Bride seems to be one of those all-time favourites for people in terms of wedding themed movies. It was released back in 1991, before I was even born, and even I love this film. The storyline's based around the father-daughter relationship when the daughter is getting married, or about to get married rather, which I think is really nice to see. It's quite different for these kind of movies and I absolutely love it. And the best thing is, if you can't get enough of the comedy, there is a sequel that you can watch also. This is another one that I absolutely love. It is hilarious. It's The Wedding Date. The Wedding Date pretty much has your classic rom-com kind of feel and with a storyline that's not too complex you can actually sit and have a chat and have a laugh with each other while the movie's playing so you're not sitting there in silence being like I must watch every second to get what is going on. Yes you need to watch it to understand what's happening of course but it's not one of those films like The Da Vinci Code where you need to pay attention to every single detail if you know what I mean. One thing I would recommend though is keeping an ear out for any of Sarah Parrish's lines because guaranteed any one liner she has in this film are golden. Next up we have Bachelorette and I nearly tripped over saying that word. We got there, it's fine. If you've already seen Bridesmaids and you enjoyed it but you don't want to watch it again, Bachelorette is probably a good next stop for you. In this movie, when the one thing that every bride wants to be absolutely perfect, the wedding dress gets ruined, a team of bridesmaids goes on a little mission to find a replacement, but it can never be that simple, can it? I'm not gonna give any more spoilers, just watch if you're intrigued. One hint I will give, it has a similar take on comedy as bridesmaids does, so if you like that, th th this, this, yeah. Movie number I can't remember, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Another favourite of mine, I love this film. The idea of this film is a woman meets the man of her dreams but they have one problem. Her family are extremely devout to their Greek heritage and he is not Greek so he agrees to follow through with all their traditions as crazy as some of them may seem to him in order to get to his bride. The things we all do for love. It's just such a chilled, light-hearted, feel-good movie and if you enjoy good old-fashioned comedy at its core, you will love this one. Next up on the list is American Wedding. It's no secret to most people and I imagine to you as well that the American Pie movies gained a bit of a following mainly because of their teenage humour and exaggerated storylines. But in this last instalment of the franchise they're all grown up. 
or mm, kind of. So you can join two of your favourite characters while they make that lovely trip down the aisle, while also enjoying the fact that Paul Finch is still very much infatuated with Stifler's mum. That is so hilarious, oh my god. If anyone didn't hear, Stifler's mum has got it going on in their head, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm broken. <laughs> The next movie on my list is 27 Dresses. Now Jane in this movie, the main character, is always the bridesmaid, but never the bride. And she comes to realise this a little bit too late. Will she be able to change her ways and put herself first for once? Watch to find out. And the last movie to conclude our list is The Proposal. When a hotshot editor is threatened with deportation after her US visa expires, she arranges to marry her assistant. But just like every other Sandra Bullock comedy movie, Things, you know, don't usually pan out as planned. Giving you plenty to laugh at and in some cases sing along to. To the windows! To the walls! Do -do 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 -do. I'm not gonna sing that line! So there you go, there are 10 kind of wedding-y, hen party themed movies that you can watch on a hen party. Let me know in the comments what other ones you would probably add to this list. I know there are plenty more out there. There's at least a dozen that I kind of wanted to put on there. We couldn't have them all. We would be here all day. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some ideas. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more videos coming in the future. Check out our social medias in the description and I will see you next time. Bye!